time to prepare. Let's go through the visitors with Phil Kurtz. Yeah, quite a big front row, Clarky. Both those uh, props, 118 kilos. Schwalger, the skipper, around about 106. Very mobile man. Two big locks, not in height, but they're very, very solid. They're both around 198 centimetres, so they're shorter than the Australian combination, but get around the park well. And this is a dynamic back row. They get through plenty of work. Stowers and uh, Tuafua in particular. Watch them running the footy. They are very, very good. Any fans of Super Rugby would know Khan Fatuali'i, the halfback with the Crusaders, come on in the last few weeks and been magnificent. His combo with PC, who plies his trade over in uh, Japan, they're quite good together. These two, Mapasua, former Highlander, and George PC. Uh, what a strong runner, Mapasua. Watch him step off the right foot all night. Very skillful. At the back, Paul Williams, former Auckland player. He's made his allegiance to uh, Samoa and they've been so happy with him in the last two years. Thank you, thank you, an outstanding winger, especially in sevens, transfers into the 15s. And also Tua Luggy on the left wing is a big mobile outside back in the Wallabies. Well, there'll be a few nerves in there because they have a few debutants. Robbie Dean's the coach just doing the final rounds. And up front, Kim Boone, we'll see Matt Moore and Alexander. No Robinson around him, and this is a good fun row. Kepu, Ben Alexander will look for a big lift in his form. Had an average year with the Brumbies, so he's looking to lift his form. These are the two big guys, Sharp and Tamani. To me, they're going to control the forward, the forward battle out there tonight, particularly at line-out time. And Rocky Elson, great to see him back. Let's hope he has a great game, because he can set the tone for this Wallaby season from here tonight. Back, we got Nick Phipps, of course, outstanding season with the Rebels. He's playing his debut, and Matt Gitto, he's trying to hang on to his Wallaby jersey. Gets his chance at fly half and might be inside centre. We'll see him later in the season with the Wallabies. Pat McCabe, he's run on debut. Adam Ashley Cooper, hoping for it. Well, he was pretty quiet during the Super Rugby season, but he's played the last 10 tests at outside centre for the Wallabies. He's settled in this arena. Mark Gerrard, welcome back. To, uh, it's been 2007, the last time he put a Wallaby jersey on. Rod Davies, his debut, and Digby Uwani. Can he maintain that wonderful... Sibatau. Warriors and Mo Mahonri Schwalger, the captain, the 32 year old from the Highlanders in New Zealand, leading the Silver Tower and his debut against Wales way back in 2000. 36th game, equal South Africa television match official Mike Fraser from New Zealand and the assistants on the touchline. Captain. First international of 2011 for Australia underway. And it's loose from the kickoff, but cleaned up by Samar. Oh, big tackle there on the number seven, Mori Fasalu. Who made that? Was that Matt Gitter? Pat McKay. Pat McKay, was it? Yeah. Thompson. So an early touch here for the visitors. PC gets it out to Mappa Sua, brings in Torlangi, and he got rid of Davies, no problem whatsoever. Fatu Ali, PC, and once again it goes to Fah Savalu. Leave it, leave! To the left side, and now the kick. Not a real chase at all. Stop, and there's a kick stop, downtown stop. from Mark Gerard back in Wallaby Gold. Is it not out? Well, good. Play on. Play advantage. One offside. So advantage, advantage. being played here. Kepu was offside and Williams got it back to the halfway or almost. Fotu Ali'i 
PC. No advantage, number one in front of the kicker, advancing. Well, Kepu didn't, uh, didn't stand still, he kept moving forward when Gerard kicked that. What an afternoon we're in for if that's what we're going to see. Samoans have tossed it crazy. Here's Pat McCabe, we made mention of that hit. He was off balance slightly. Fa'a Sabolo. Coaches like to see players making hits like that though, that was nice. They're going to have a shot at goal here, about 44 metres back. About 20 metres in from uh, touch. And it will be uh, Tusi PC who is going to have the shot. The 29-year-old, only his fourth international place for Suntory in Japan. So coached by Eddie Jones and was combining with George Gregan not so long ago for Suntory. Yeah, George has now finished his career, finished up at Suntory Club, had three years there. Bench looking on, Olo, Johnson, Levy, Salavia, Belua, Sapolu and Soialo. Familiar name, Soialo. It's James, the brother of All Black and Rodney. There's a couple of brothers around. Schwalger, brother of John, Prop. Tusi PC and George PC, 10 and 13. A shot for Sama. What a bad strike. Very good indeed. The radar is working, and so Manu Sama at the first points at Anzhen Stadium for the boot of Tusi Pisi. And it is 3 0. Sama. Let me take your photo of that scoreboard, the Samoans. The Wallaby bench down, Pickman. Back in the Wallaby lineup. Taken this time by Tyasina Tulthor. It is inside. George Stowers. Got the Alihi. He's here and he goes high. Well taken by the Wallabies. As Nick Phipps on debut. He offloaded. They're up to the 22. So an opportunity for Australia to. Hit back here, they go to the short side, playing advantage here as Guido throws the dummy, they don't fall for it. Tackle made by Schwalga, still playing advantage. Phipps to Stephen Moore. He's taken by Thompson. And now Kepu. His best season of rugby. So Kopi Kepu. Now it's McKelman. No air through there, so... What do they do here? Do they take the three and Number try nine, and settle things away. down? This could gauge, the decision here could gauge the intent of the Wallabies. No, they're going to have a run, line out, and then take it on. So Matt Gitto in his 90-second test match. Finds touch on the far side. Clarky, good early decision there from the captain, Rocky Elson, electing to uh, keep the pressure on. I think the Wallabies will fancy themselves at the set piece, particularly line out, and will look to drive, try to establish some dominance there. I think that'll be something the Samoans will keep it away from the touch lines. We've seen them kick twice and keep the ball in field. More fine sharp. More taken by Thompson, and now the drive coming. In from Samoa, causing a few problems there, but a penalty. Oh, courageous stuff by Nick Phipps to pluck that ball out despite the pressure he's under from Danny Leo. And again, Gitto looks to the touchline. What about uh, conditions? The, the ground looks reasonably heavy, Kate. It is a bit heavy. There's been a lot of rain in Sydney in recent times. The, the ground is heavy, but um, and, and it's sort of that sort of deep wetness down. In the, under the surface, so it, it sort of gives you that heavy leg feeling when you're running on it, um, which which I think will favour the Wallabies. You know, they're a little bit sort of lighter, particularly in the fleet of foot in the back line, but um, time will tell as this game goes on. Well, they're asking some questions of the Samoa defence now. Wallabies, seven or eight metres out. They've done well with Samoa. Now here's McCabe with a typical straight running action of his. Phipps 
to Sharp. Nathan Sharp. Half a gap open. And they've lost it forward now. There's some pressure at the breakdown coming through from the Samoans. Accidental offside. Sure, the Wallabies getting out of the advantage line, but what happens after the tackle is where the havoc is being created. Sharp almost hit the hit the gap. Call as accidental offside. Vision number nine. Lua, Lua, Lua. Number nine. Love number nine. We can have a look at the television afterwards. Stay pick up the ball. It's play, please. And there's a lot of interference on Nick Phipps. Yeah, there's the mark. Really you make the mark. Pressure. That'll line up. Cannot touch Don't the move off it, please. I think the other thing that's obvious, Kearns in those first couple of rucks, they're not real accurate, the Wallabies at the moment. They're sort of a bit unsure of who's going to be running the ball, who's taking it, and they're, and they're missing the clean out. Touch. Pause. In game. <laughs> Ball is out, ball is out, ball is out, play. Easy with the clearing kick and finding touch up around the 10 metre mark. Still in Samoa territory. It's a good scrum from the Samoans then. Get them, get them on the line. Vinny. Gold on, gold on the line. Nice and solid in position. On the line, please. Got the side up that they wanted. World rankings, Australia two. That's New Zealand number one. And Samoa moved to 10th. <laughs> advantage. Lost forward by the Wallabies. And advantage over now with the kick. So Rod Davies fires it across to Mark Girard. What a great pass. And the bounce is there eventually for Adam Ashley Cooper, but he's tackled by Mapasua. Phipps to Ghetto. Now Nathan Sharp. Joel made the tackle. Gitto punching it down over the head of the last man back there for Samoa. BC. Stop, Lou! Stop! Get out! Stop you! It's not out. Get out! Get out! Play! Girard. What a pass this time. Play, 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 play. Now Dipa Yuani. Of course, Dipa is Samoan. He was saying during the week he was really looking forward to taking on the Samoans here and now Tomani the big Tongan up towards the 22. Leave the back. Samoa leading 3-0. Pass out the mix there picked up there by McKelvin and he was immediately picked up by George Stowers. Now Ioani from a standing start. Meet one. Can't get past Mapasua. Phipps. Now to get out down the short side. Adam Ashley Cooper. The tackle coming in from George PC, the opposite 13. Now it's Alexander. Short side again. Quick hands. McCabe. Oh, hammered over there. Samoans in the stand on the far side. Pretty happy with that defence. Now here's McKelman. And this time Thompson comes up to shut him down. Get out. Inside ball to nobody. You know, Ioani overran it, then it was cleaned up by Phipps and it got it off to Alexander. Kiddo again. Hands it off to Tamani, pops it over to Hodgson. Matt Hodgson will need some support. It's play on. Great work. And now to Alangi. Kiddo's only got Kiddo to beat. Olasana to Alangi. Puts a goose step on. Two goals. pressure on him. There was only one man helping. It was Mark Gerard. Look, they just drove through, spat out the side, through the legs, and away we go to Alangi. Rod Davies there, the man who could have caught him. He was lying at the bottom of the ruck. The smile starts now, 40 out, because he knows he's going to beat Matt Gitto, simply because he outweighs him by 30 kilograms. And then the dive. Earthquake starts. What a try to Alangi. Well, the Wallabies seem to be a little frustrated over the far side. 
A lot of shifting the ball sideways because they're having trouble penetrating.